Well, Flash, ever since the iPad was released, Flash has been out there in terms of, should I use it? Should I not use it? Is it really worth it? Is it good? Should I uninstall it? Why does it suck? It does suck. Well, let's get to the point here iPad is not going to run Flash. iPhone and iPod Touch doesn't run Flash. And Mac OS X runs a poor version of Flash in Safari. So, now, I love Flash. And as Steve Jobs has said, Flash is awesome in terms of Adobe has a lot of potential to make it awesome. <laughs> But they don't. It could be an awesome program on the Mac, but yet it's still not good. So, listening to that and knowing that, let's think. If Flash crashes all the time on your Mac, there's something to do about that. That's not good. And here's one solution. Click to Flash. Techno Buffalo. I visit it all the time to get updated with technology news. And it has a lot of Flash plugins on it. Only two of them, but a lot. Their ads and their videos. All this running sucks. So, here we go. Flash. Disables all fl flash, ugh, flash plugins. And all you have to do to watch them or see what it is, it's click. And there you go. You, you have it. Now, what sucks is it still takes years to load. So, yeah. You you saw how it was breaking up and crap. Well, Flash can suck when it comes to that. But this program does more than just block out a lot of Flash plugins and all the background crap in Flash and disable it. But it actually makes YouTube better in terms of Flash. It converts it automatically where it runs your YouTube videos. Not in Flash, but in QuickTime. Check it out. So let's go to YouTube.com. Knowing this, as soon as it goes, a little Flash thing that's on the top, it disables. So if I want to see it, all I have to do is click. But all you need to do to make it better for YouTube videos is go up here, click your little settings button, click to Flash settings, enable. Uh, click the flash, load H.264 videos, and load HD videos. Once that's there, you can go visit a video. Well, there you go. HD H2.264. Click on it, and it loads it in quick time. Now, not only will it load in QuickTime, it's much better in terms of viewing experience. Its uh, speed is faster, it loads, it's just much better. So, click play, and you, you have it. Right click. Hey guys, how are you, David here? I'm here Oops. Another unboxing. This time it's the Pause that, but you can right click, get the same settings that you usually get. The only bad thing is I haven't found out how to get it in full screen. <laughs> so, it still works, but it's just awesome. It, you can just press play when the video hasn't even buffered. So, that, that's the nice thing about it. Flash, click the Flash. It's a better alternative for disabling Flash and only using the Flash content that you want. So go check it out. I'll provide a link in the description bar. Peace.